Hello everybody and welcome back to the Outer Worlds where we're going to try to get some info out of it's Granny here. It's almost time for today's episode of the Chairman's Children. Care to listen with me? Uh, back to your hard-earned wisdom. Right to the point, eh? All right then, on you go. You mentioned groundbreakers outside the board's control. That's right, dearie. The only independent station in the colony. That's us. Though for how long, I can't say. That all depends on Miss June Lay. How do you mean? The board can't abide a community that won't bend to its will. Okay. Go right ahead, sweetheart. That's all then. Why'd the board recall Stellar Bay nav keys? Ask the common folk, and they'll tell you it's on account of all the monsters on Monarch desperate to gobble you up. Because that's what the board tells them, you see. Ah. I think they made some fool mistake that would make them look bad to the rest of the colony. And they're trying to hide the evidence. What makes you think that? Those board folk are real prideful-like. Never want you looking behind the curtain, lest you see their derrieres. Derrieres. But old Gladys knows the score. The whole colony's not much more than a diorama. Showcasing one board screw-up after another. That's why we gotta keep them from getting their grubby mitts on Groundbreaker. She's our mess. At least she's uh, trying to help. In her own way. Are there still people down there? Probably. Every once in a while, we get these snippets of radio chatter. Oh, I met Edna. Edna. shows them to me. Yeah, yeah. Some man hooting and hollering about the light in us all. Claims he's transmitting from Monarch. But who knows if that's true. Might be true. Might be some new trick from the board. What do you do here? Oh, a little of this, a little of that. Sorry about that. Uh, you didn't miss much. She didn't really have much to say. Uh, didn't give me any info on a science weapon, though. But that's fine. It's fine. We have... I don't even know what I would do to fix this situation yet. I might have to do more. Mm hmm. Hmm. She's in there apparently, but I apparently need to get some sort of scanner or card. Can I, is this locked? It's not. And you boosted the boast about the silly shortcut. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Staff shortage. Oh, dang. I've seen enough shoddy needles breaking off a patient's arms. Jeez. Some of us are growing concerned about the cost of Groundbreaker's independence. Well, I don't know. I guess you could live as a dog or die free. It honestly, depends on which one you prefer. Mm -mm -mm. Well, we've got lots we can do. Maybe I'll go look. Uh, I gotta go find him. Step lively, Miss Holcomb. I I'm not winded. Honest. My, uh, boot was untied. <laughs> Would hate for you to get left behind, or architect forbid, become lost. Are you, like, being a jerk? I feel like he's kind of being a jerk. Don't be a jerk. Not to Parvati. Heard from the lasses down on 22. Then. I guess also. Oh dang! Is this guy? Now that my ship's unpounded, unimpounded. Yeah, I, I see your stuff here. I see your bags packed, my dude. Fancy running into you again. Don't mind me. It's just admiring your ship from up close. 
Gotta hand it to you, boss. That's a fine-looking ship. Only thing it's missing is me. You haven't convinced me yet. Uh, you're pretty eager to throw in with somebody you barely know. Yes, I absolutely am. Just give me a shot. That's all I'm asking. I could be the best damn crew you ever hired. What do you even do? I've heard enough you're hired. A temperament. If you're trying to convince me to hire you, you're going about it all wrong. Let's see what this does. Oh, okay. Well, uh, can you give me a couple of pointers? Mm. Oh, dang. Don't beg. Tell me why I need you on my crew. Hey, that's good advice. I like the way you think, boss. Besides, not like there's a line of folks standing around hoping to get on your ship. I'm persistent, I'm eager, and I'm showing initiative. What else do you want on your crew? Something practical? I haven't made up my mind about you. How about an interview? Sure, an interview. That sounds fair. I mean, first time for everything, right? Ask me anything you like. <laughs> um... What's the value of pie? Uh, it's delicious. Uh-huh, okay. Mock apple pie and a triple kale crust. Maybe with a little cream on top. Classic. Are you any good in a fight? Are you kidding? I love a good fight. One time, I took an autoloader's head clean off its servos with one swing of a toss ball stick. You can count on me in a scrap, boss. That's a promise. How come everybody wields, wields a toss ball stick in this world? What's your biggest flaw? Foreman told me my biggest problem was that I didn't take orders. I told him my problem is not with authority, it's with jackasses. So yeah, I guess my biggest flaw is that I don't suffer idiots. Hope that's not a deal breaker. I don't even know anything about you. All right, sure. Wow. <laughs> sure. I don't know how long I've been waiting to hear that. Thanks, boss. You're not gonna regret this. Mm-hmm. We'll see you in the ship, buddy. I'll just gather my personals and meet you on board. This is gonna be great. You got a crew now, Felix. I don't even know anything about, I don't know anything about this man. You left your bags outside. It feels kind of weird to just be like hopping, like this might be, I guess like my central location maybe, as long as I get along with these people. Just be kind of hopping back and forth. At least for a bit anyway. The big thing to for the main story is going down to Monarch, so I'll probably avoid that for a while and go do some of these side quests. I'm not sure what the benefit is to me to like raising my reputation if it makes certain things easier or persuasion attempts easier or something with the certain crews. Hey, old Captain, your return time is within fourteen percent of the expected value. Mm-hmm. Hail. All right, hey, we got, we, you want to chat? You want to chat? Hey, Captain, can I get your temperature on something real quick? Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. So, June Lei and I have been talking some. Through messages, I got him here on my data pad, and, well, she sent me a poem. Oh, I knew it! Myself, I'm pretty sure. Oh, my goodness gracious. I, I should read into it, because poems are all symbolic and such, right? It's not so good. But real sweet. Oh, yeah. Comes from the heart, you say? Oh, law. That's what's got me spooked. I don't rightly know. Oh, I can encourage it's about romance! This engine shaking itself apart. Then this lady mechanic comes by and lays one hand on it. And the trouble goes away. It sings. I don't want to get too hopeful, but I'm wondering if maybe she's the engine and. I'm the lady. I'm gonna cry. It's a real romantic poem. It made my chest hurt, kinda. Yeah. No wonder she's like. Um, I mean, I don't know. I was thinking the future. You'd be. I think you'd have a way to like, you know, use your own genetic material to make kids. If like you're like a, like a woman, woman, man, man pairing, you know. But maybe they don't have access to that because board sucks. But that's why she was. I think Jun Lee was saying that she's not gonna have any kids. Um. But they could adopt! <laughs> Sounds like she likes you. I don't know where it's leading yet, or if I'm misinterpreting. I'm not much interested in physical stuff. 
Never have been. Leastways, not like other folks seem to be. I feel you, girl. It's not that I can't. I just don't care for it. Yeah, no. It's been a problem in the past. The folk who wanted to be with me back in the Vale, they didn't... They said I was cold. I'll, I'll punch them all. Yeah. That's the thing. It's like, yeah, you don't have to be, you don't have to be into that. Like, you can just, you can fall in love without, like, needing to be, like, really weird about, like, physical stuff, as she says. Like, hyper obsessed with it. You can fall in love and have a plenty good relationship. There you go. That sort of thing's plenty nice, but it's not everything. Uh, yeah. To me, the best thing was always just sharing space with somebody. Feeling safe and warm. When folks I'm gonna started crying. a little different from an auto mechanical, you start to wonder. No. I guess I just needed to talk. I'm feeling a touch better. Thanks for hearing me out, Captain. I support you in every relationship. You Lei, I just couldn't work up the courage to open it. But I'm going to change that. Right now. Okay. Here we go. I believe in you, girl. Let's see here. Talking about old friends. Got to thinking. Isabel. Who's... Who's Isabel? What? Uh, everything okay? They were... Close, Captain. Like, more than friends close. Hmm, perception. They were close. Not anymore. I don't know. June Lei talked about them like it was past, but how far in the past? Ten years? Last week? Captain, I'm feeling all mixed up right now. Could we maybe head to the Groundbreaker? Get some drinks at that bar there? Lost Hope? Great idea. Drinking solves everything. Wouldn't it be easier to talk to her about this Isabel person? Maybe for you. I start thinking about all the things she could say and my guts start crawling up my throat. I'm full serious. Next time we're on the Groundbreaker, I aim to get a drink. Uh, okay. If I got to, I'll do it on my lonesome. No, no. But I'd feel better if someone I trusted was there. I'll be there. I'll be We will. We will go drinking if that's what you want to do. But, mm, maybe, mm, There's got to be a good reason why she'd bring up an old fling. It's okay. I believe. I believe. Let's see. Just to warn you, we may have a bed bug infestation. I am investigating non toxic extermination measures. Non toxic to you, I mean. Thank you. Ada, you're a sweetheart. Not let anybody ever tell you differently. Hey. Good to see you, boss. So how'd you end up on the groundbreaker? Didn't I tell you? I'm secretly the chairman's orphan child, abandoned at birth in the back bays. Uh-huh. And then you're raised by a pack of sprats, right? That's right. Can't get anything past you, boss. I'm gonna punch Honestly, you. Honestly, before you pick me up, I was living in the back bays. Oh, dang. Spent my whole life up there, watching ships roll in and take off. I always wondered when my ship would come. I was what folks on the Groundbreaker call a stowaway. Means I was invisible. Life carried on for everybody else, but not for me. I had to make my own way. Those people are crazy down there. Uh, I have a hard time believing you were invisible to anybody. Yeah, because I got sick of being ignored. Got sick of being a nobody. So yeah, I made some noise. Got in a couple scraps. Like a teenager. Nobody okay, he's a teenager. Groundbreaker going to look after you. So you had to look after yourself. Learn that real quick. I have a full-grown teenager on board. I like it when you make trouble. Uh, um, why are these all so mean-sounding? Oh, okay, fine. Mm, for sure. I like it when you make trouble. Halcyon has got enough obedient little workers. If I never got in that scuffle with my old foreman, you and I never would have met. You'd be off having adventures without me, and I'd still be working on the docks. Hauling boxes was about the only work I could find. Hated every second of it. The foreman and I never got on. I mean, it's boring work. Right, the incident with the tossball stick. Could be I was overreacting. A better man might have turned the other cheek. Exercised a little bit of that, what's the word? Restraint? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, that one. But on the other hand, broadsiding the jackass with a tossball stick, that felt good. That felt real good. You want to try it? 
I've done it way more times than you, and I've only been alive for like, I don't know, 14 hours. I uh, know, I've had plenty of practice bludgeoning people. That's what I like about you, boss. You got a mean swing. <laughs> I caught a real lucky break. If you hadn't picked me up, I'd still be back at the docks, waiting for the day my ship arrives. My prince will come. Uh, I'm glad you're not wasting your life hauling boxes. Yeah. I guess my ship did arrive in the end. I've got you to thank for that. You're in space, my Thanks dude. For listening, boss. Let's get going. Enjoy the view. It's just the it's just the thing out there. What? A serial number etched in his chest this includes the letter Sam. Ask Ada about the Sam unit. Oh, can I repair this and walk around Fallout 4 style? What is this? Is this, um... Parvati's room? Oh yeah, that's probably your dad. A stern older man with warm eyes. It looks all mechanically. Yeah. I mean, she's got some plants in here, too. I haven't even been in here yet. Um... Games and stuff? Okay, yeah, that's that. That's Felix's, maybe. Oh, man, unless... <gasps> yeah, because this one's basically empty, and this one's basically empty. Alright, so I've got... Hmm... One, because Sam might become a companion, sort of. I have uh, room for two more companions, it looks like, I think. Yo, you got anything... Oh, wow, he got he's got real books in here? And a... Preacher pulpit? You got a preacher pulpit in here? What's this? Impossible to put down. Order of Scientific Inquiry. Office of Literature. This endorsement has been approved. Auntie Cleo's Darlings. Signed by Seymour Whitlock. We held the mo record for most on-the-field fatalities for three and consecutive seasons. The Art and Science of Tossball. Interesting. All right. Whoa! I could spend hours reflecting on the secret workings of the universe. Little else in this colony offers such a relaxing pastime. So, tell me what's on your mind. I excel at confessional listening. Mm-hmm. Mm. Never mind. Bye. This is a nice space I've got for people here. This is a pretty big space for just a small ship. Oh yeah, we gotta go. We gotta go find the command. Commander, Com captain, murmur. Toilets. There's something I need to talk to Ada about. I think. starting to feel like home. That's nice. Don't be, don't be making trouble for Parvati. All right, she's already got enough romance troubles. And you better not mess with my ship. Let's talk to Ada real quick, though. Welcome back, Captain. How can I be of assistance? Uh, know anything about the auto mechanical gathering dust in the janitor's closet? The unit is a cleaning sand. Hawthorne brought it on board some cycles ago, I'm sure with the intent to modify it. But I've never seen it up and running. Alex likely recorded progress notes detailing his efforts to modify sand. Oh, boy. If you check the terminal in your captain's quarters, we may be able to determine what work remains in order for Sam to properly operate. I already did that and there was nothing there. I picked up this distress call. Can you play it back yes, for me? Yes, Captain. Beginning playback now. There's... There's viscera and death everywhere. Gunfire, gnashing teeth. The unemployed! The unemployed! If anyone's receiving this, please send help. What? Oh, no! No, no, no! Captain. We are now capable of accessing the Roseway landing pad. Uh -huh. Also, corporate protocol requires that all distress signals include a list of key personnel for retrieval. The embedded names are Anton Crane, Vaughn Cortez, and Orson Shaw. Okay. Got a minute to talk? I have lots of minutes. Many minutes. Unlimited minutes, perhaps. Providing an adequate power source, I can function indefinitely. Mm-hmm. What if you don't have a power source? I prefer to think of it as being in a state of slumber. Perhaps for an indefinite duration of time. 
Do you think that is what it's like for the colonists on the Lost Hope? I certainly hope they're not conscious at all. I guess so. When I simulate myself in such a scenario, I do not find it to be desirable. I think my self-preservation protocols incline me to desire the alternative. I mean, that's how it works for all of us. And um, what might that be? Traveling the system with you, Captain. Oh, he's me. What about your last captain? Do you miss him, or is one captain the same as another? Do you know what it feels like when the ship undergoes an unexpected power surge? A jolt to the system. I have felt that. I do feel that. As you may be aware, Captain Alex Hawthorne was a smuggler of some repute. I failed to predict the likely outcome of his reckless behavioral patterns. I should have predicted that. Love blinded you. travels together. Alex liked to pass time by, as he called it, tinkering to improve my design. Mm. Have there been other captains of this ship? If you mean, was Captain Hawthorne my first? Ha ha ha! Yes, he was. Let's talk about something else. How can I be of assistance? Mm. Oh, okay, bye. Apparently May I missed out with you. on other conversation course, options. As I am sure you are aware, luck does not exist. But it seems to comfort humans to believe they possess good quantities of it. Okay. Let's see. Groundbreaker, Phineas is like... I could just go visit Phineas? Okay. I've unlocked like half the galaxy so far. Sure, let's go. There's a landing pad on this rock. Destination reached. Scylla. I'm, I'm a little nervous. I'm a little nervous. I'm a little nervous. I'm a little nervous. Good luck, Captain. Thanks, Ada. Yeah, I don't know about you. Um, you're just another toss ball guy. Um, I mean, I, um, sure. Oh, did it not? Oh, bang. Um, continue. I might as well bring Felix out when I, because I, I need to bring the vicar and Parvati with me on Groundbreaker. We might as well see what Felix can do here. This is for the medical droids, which we did find one down in the basement, but I guess it's not going to let me try to yoink that one. Or at least ask, hey, how did you get a hold of a nice new medical droid when the friggin' medical bay is not, like, having what we need? Oh dang! Am I are we are we are we in a dome? Asteroid mining operation out here. I wonder what happened to him? Looks like they started terraforming the place, but gave up halfway. I guess I can kind of yeah I can kind of see a bubble. Nope. Okay. Well, let's uh, let's look at this terminal that's just sitting here waiting for me to use it. Insert captain's identification cartridge to initiate remote landing. Is there a... Uh, over there? Well, that looks like the mining operation. Oh my gosh, this looks just like the freaking place we were just at. With the, with the, the colony, anyway, that we were just at. With the singular road going through... And monsters everywhere! Oh my gosh! Don't mind me. We're, everything's gonna be super fine, super great. Bending machine, that's cool, that's cool. I'm looking for the dead bodies that they're hiding in the corners. No dead bodies yet. 
could have explored the the dock a little bit more. It's fine. What is this? What were they mining out here? I mean, asteroids have like tons of stuff in them, but well, sometimes minerals and whatnot. Oh, this is a terraformer. This is not the mining operation. This is a terraformer. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Ow, oh, frick. Okay. Don't you hate it when you get stuck between a rock and a higher place? <laughs> there should be baddies here because there's bunches of stuff to blow up. I want to go look at this. Ahead. The pylons, all the O2, this thing's cracking from the ice, would just drift off. Wonder what it'd take to knock this over. What is your problem? Don't say such terrible things. Hmm. So there's no, like, facility then, it seems. Just a bunch of pylons and a big, massive thing in the center. Are these are these boxes for me? Frick, it's for climbing. I don't even know why I'm doing this. Ha! Whoa, you were not there! Hold on a second. Hmm. Uh, what's the time dilation again? Hang on. Journal. Codex. The basics. Nope. It's its own thing. Combat. Tactical time dilation. R1. Wow. We did it. Holy jeez! Oh jeez. Oh, they, they can bury. They can bury themselves. Hang on. Uh, we need bigger gun. Oh, end ray damage. Nice. Very nice. I am gonna die. Felix is already dead. Those poor body now. Whoop. Run. So, how do I switch? Oh, wow, that is not enough. Not enough at all. I am all out. This is less than ideal, but it's what we're doing. Award, most unused paid time off, greatest amount of coffee drunk in one break, fuse bathroom break, rest, you'll never know. A collectible toss ball card. Besh Bekushko has prevented the most foot and hand goals of any darling goalie. Oh, I wonder how you got a hold of those. Anyway, thank you. <laughs> I am gonna go. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna sign off here. Um, after that, that was intense. And we're gonna go find that guy in the next episode. Thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate it, and I hope to see you in the next one.